Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a review of Mini Pong. In this video review, I will be going over the basics of this awesome fun game and I will also demonstrate myself playing the game for you. Let's get right to it. As you can see, Mini Pong is basically a board with a ball in the middle and 10 cups on either side and a launcher on either side. Now, before I get into the rules, I just want to show you some of the features of the board. As you can see, there are spaces for 10 cups on either side. You can fill the cups with whatever beverage you want. Um, in my case, I've just simply filled them with water. Now, with regards to the launchers on either side, you can actually move them into different holes to give you different angles and that's a huge plus in my opinion because it really allows you to get um, to develop your skill in mini pong and get the best possible angle another huge plus in my opinion is the simple fact whoops, that the ball is attached to a string. That means that you can shoot the ball back and forth and you're never gonna have to worry about losing the ball. The ball's not gonna go under the table, the ball's not gonna get lost under the couch or fall down the stairs, whatever the case is. You will not lose the ball. So in the Mini Pong instruction manual, they have laid out some of the rules, but they clearly state that these are just basic, they're basic rules, but you can alter them or manipulate them in any way that you want as long as you're having fun when you're playing the game. But in the case of this instruction manual, I'm going to be explaining some of the rules to you and then I'm gonna shoot the ball back and forth a few times with myself to demonstrate sort of the playing of the game. All right, so here's how the game works. Each team gets two shots per turn, okay? If the ball lands in a cup, the opponent must pull that cup from their side of the board after the turn is over. Now, those are the basics of the game, but there are specifics with regards to if you land the ball in more than one cup or if you land the ball twice in the same cup. So here are those specifics. If you land the ball in one cup, so if one ball is made, you need to drink what's in that cup and then remove it from the board. If two balls are made, you need to remove the two cups from the board, drink their contents, and then the team that scored that shot, the team that made that shot, also gets another shot. If two balls are made in the same cup, which is, in my opinion, very, very skillful. If you practice, you will definitely be able to do that in time. You need to remove and drink from that cup. So the cup that the ball was made in twice, you need to remove and drink from that cup plus two others. And then the team that made that ball in the same cup twice also gets to shoot again. If three balls are made, you need to remove and drink from the three cups. Very simple. The rules are extremely simple. Now, with regards to the learning curve of the game, it is a pretty easy learning curve. It doesn't take a lot to actually get a hang of the game. It does take some time though to perfect your shot. Once again, you can fill these cups with whatever beverage you like. In my case, it's just water, but it does take a while to perfect your shot. I'm just gonna take the ball and I'm gonna shoot it back and forth a few times just for the purposes of this video. Let's just get the string nice and straight just like that. All right, let's shoot this ball back and forth. Let's see if we can get one in. Boom! No. Let's try from the other side. We're just gonna, I'm gonna like play against myself. Let's try this out. Aim it. Boom! Ooh, that was close, that was close. All right, as you can see, I'm still, oops. I'm still working on my shot, but let's see what we got. Here we go, here we go. Line it up. Bam! Just like that. Boom! You guys saw that. Let's try one more time. I'm obviously not gonna play by the full rules. I'm just shooting it back and forth right now. Let's see, two for two, two for two. Okay, we're going three for three. Let's try three for three. One more, lines up the shot. Whoop -ha! No, okay. All right, so that's basically it. In this video review, I just wanted to go over some of the features of Mini Pong, talk to you about the rules, tell you about the basics of the game and the game board and how it's set up, and also demonstrate myself shooting the ball back and forth a few times. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.